Okay, here we go. Welcome back to some more Gotham Nights. Hope you all are well. Had a great weekend and a good Monday. And remember to subscribe, hit that like button, leave me a comment, and enable notifications. So in this video, I'm going to be doing the exploration of the tunnel and then in the next one it will be the final battle the end of the game so let's get into it uh, somehow i didn't notice on the first time when i was out here is there is like a speaker tower emits high frequency that's how she controls the man bats and sends them where she wants them Hope you all had a good weekend and that you enjoy the series. Almost over with the main story. I so shall probably like put one or two more videos of it, of game plan stuff. That we saw already. Okay. Seem to be always going in down in spooky tunnels. <coughs> this is somehow weirder than the ruins of Arkham. Okay, now these ones, as you see, is purple when you that scan them. That is a there. long way down. Better find a way around. So what you can do is just you can aim at them, and then they pull down. And now you can actually, like... Can we grapple? Okay. I don't actually know why they've got three here. Because you can just grapple onto the last Belfry, one. Belfry, the League dug a tunnel under the cemetery. I'm gonna follow it, see where it goes. Be careful. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. And there's one more. Oh, actually two more. And you can go over here and be completely safe when you drop off. <coughs> okay, now you might want to scan in the tunnel um, because these red ones actually explode. If you are crouched, you, they shouldn't hit you. Let's see, they explode like that. But if you scan them, you can throw them with a batarang and explode them early. And they're sneaky, they have some of them while they, when you slide down. Yeah. Okay, so see, you just aim at it and kaboom.
What's left of the bat cave is all this trophy. Wow. After Batman and Robin foiled a murder plot on Dinosaur Island, park owner Murray Hart gave, gifted the dynamic duo a keepsake, a mechanical Tyrannosaurus, later to monitor the Batcave against intruders. Alfred had audio sensors and cutting edge cameras installed inside the animatronic dinosaur. So this is part of the Batcave that's fallen down here after the explosion. I've somehow managed to get into the bat cave. What's left of it anyway? Pretty far from the cemetery. How long is that tunnel? Long. The League is after something specific. They knew where they were digging. Just don't get lost down there. I'll try. Okay, uh, if you fall down there, you actually die. You work your way around to there at the bottom. I'm talking out of experience. between Batman, Penny Plunderer, and Two-Face. I wonder how much that penny would be worth at auction. So you just have to be careful that you don't go through there before you read this. You can just pause and read that. That one you can't even target. It's got a red thingy on it. And now they've got it where uh, you slide and then you have to grapple before you fall to your death. Trigger on proximity or be destroyed by attacks. And now I'm too far away. The league showing up like this. The Lazarus pit can't be far. That's why I just need to change something. Um. No, I forgot I put it on very easy while I was doing some farming.
Joffrey found the League. I'll let the others know. He was like one of them, so as soon as you land there at the bottom, explode. That's something that's actually pretty cool for me, is just, it seems that changing the... Like that these mobs are taking a lot more punishment than the previous mobs. And if you don't have to restart the whole thing. I'm wishing I kind of kept it on easy. Of course you're down here too. This is just a normal one. Okay, when it does that and uh, then does the uh, attack on both arms, if he does get you with the lunge, that that lunge, he actually bites you and poisons you. Guess that's it, then. Of course, can't be complete without assassin. Well, Batarangs have like a bioelectric um, element at the moment. Let's see, just a normal one. Okay, cool. Let's see, there's the Joker's like huge playing card of his, but this looks like a metal one even. Yeah, there is a chest over there. I don't think I've missed any chests along the way, but I could be wrong. I've been scanning and trying to see them. Sometimes this perch thing can almost be annoying. That is so high, would it actually even hit me?
There's another one that's just slide down. Another one of those where you just need to grapple before you fall to your death. Okay, and then you need to actually jump and do your next grapple. I have to admit, the grappling is probably one of the coolest things for me in the game. Especially when it works how you want it to work. You can't be destroyed, it just bounces right off the <laughs> before you fall. Like you see, if you duck, they shouldn't hit you. Gee, I didn't even see that one was explosive as well. I'm trying to keep my momentum abilities for final battle. Now just avoid those arrow red arrows on the ground. That's them dealt with. I love with the scanning that you actually see it in the suit that their like visor or eyes are actually like the blue color. Okay, so this is just a chest. Actually want to come here to progress. It's a good thing I'm not claustrophobic. Yeah, same as the like vents. How's Red Root supposed to fit through that? <laughs> before you fall. Watch out for that on the ground, it's staying there.
I kind of wish there was a way that you could like determine which kind of like finishing moves you use. It's like if you press down or something or up, you do a different one because sometimes they just keep doing the same one over and over. Not that they're not cool, but still. So what's the use of these? I was short to slide down. I don't see any crevices or something I can jump into or anything. So as cool as it looks, I'd like to see some other moves as well. Uh, I think I've got the veterans and the champions and everything already. Okay. bring water from the Lazarus bed all this way. That is a very good point. Clang. Oh, it actually made a mark. <laughs> if you see up there is another chest. Two hundred and fifty thousand. <laughs> oh, do I really need to drop down? that one how she actually uses the knee to bounce the head off and who was not expecting to be attacked when you drop down there <laughs> Okay, well, hopefully I can throw the battering man up there. You just see the smoke. Where did that ninja go? Oh, just for interest sakes, when I did Arkham Asylum, did any of you notice that the office to Harley Quinn's door opened on its own? And that the radio that I switched off kept going back on? So 
sorry about that. And how convenient, Al. Chase. Okay, and that is it for this video. Oh, well, there I get a health pack, anyways. And anyways, yeah, this is what a health chest looks like. Okay, and that is going to be the end of this video and we'll get we'll finish the main story in the next one that is the door to the finishing fight okay so i'll see you all in the next video and hope you all are well and have fun enjoy